Hi, it's JT Walters. I'm going to do something that's um, a string. It's actually a string. Um, I'm going to soak strings in different colors. And the colors are blue, teal, magenta, metallic purple, okra, and ochre and um, and actually ochre and gold and I have white already down on the canvas so I'm just gonna put this down and kind of roll it and let you see what it looks like going through I have no idea how this is going to turn out guys I'm just taking string rolling it through this like multicolored multi-layered thing to see how it comes out and then I I just kind of put it on the canvas and then pull. Want thicker, I pull that way. And then I have to go back and add paints back into it and so on the side it's just me on a piece of cardboard putting like blue straight across teal straight across and then there's magenta and then there's purple I actually got too much magenta down there and ochre is the last cut an ochre which isn't the last color i apologize gold is the last color and i really wanted to finish it off with some blue but just seems like a lot but i'm going to try it again anyway so put some blue at the end and see if that works because i like blue in this and i keep using the same bit of string which may sound a bit unorthodox, like I'm gonna mess my colors up. But at this point, I don't know what I'm doing, so I'm just kinda, I'm just kinda faking it as I go. So here goes another one. I wanna widen this a bit. Okay, so let me roll it. See, I can't get the colors to. Ugh. Well, it widened a bit. A little streaky down there for me, but that's okay. We can work with it. So I'm just going to keep dipping this in the paint. And I roll it that side and get the other side. And then I just kind of like this one, pull it over. I kind of want to whip this around and kind of a non sequential way. I may have messed that up. I don't know. We'll see. I like it better when I spiral it though and I have to get a lot of paint on here and I started out thinking I was gonna like do this so neat like it was just like in the video but you know what nothing ever turns out just like it does in the video
Let me see if I can wave it back this way. Oh, I like that better. Let me get a little bit more on top here. And I try to keep the colors in alignment, which I know sounds kind of silly, but it really isn't. So I, I just got home from prayer group. It was like a really awesome group tonight. Sometimes I think, I don't know, it may sound really ridiculous to you guys, but sometimes I think God hears better when you're in smaller numbers probably sounds totally stupid to you guys but to me it seems to make sense now besides having a pattern here which I don't like having a pattern because I want it to be random that's kind of important to me I'm gonna go through and keep hitting it and see if I get something that seems a bit more random. Okay. And just to go through with you, these are pre-mixed. I'm still working out of the ones that I've had since, I mean, I've had these paints, gosh, since, I don't know. I've had them for a long time. I've had these since April. The difference is as I've added three in one to the, not three in one, I've added, um, gosh, I've added the, the coconut hair oil that I showed you guys in the last couple of my videos. So if you want to check out my last few videos, the coconut hair oil is in there. I give you the exact brand. I think it's OGA. I'm not positive because I'm trying to focus on this. Um, underneath here is white. So I'm dragging wet and wet. Which is amazingly, it's the way I paint when I do oils. Because I do wet and wet too, so. That. Let's see if I can get this one to go through here. Okay. it through it's a pretty cool painting I like the way it looks I mean I shouldn't say that about my own artwork I mean it's really up to you to judge if you like it but I think the true test of anybody's artwork is whether they can live with it themselves um, at least that's what it's always been for me. It's not the first audience I have to get through is me. And I am my worst critic, so. I mean, people were like, I showed some of my paintings tonight to some of my sisters at Prayer Group. They're like, oh, it's really nice. It's really good. And I'm like, yeah, I hate it. <laughs> Which I think everybody that paints, if they were to be honest with you, would admit they really don't like their own work. I don't know why. It's just we see every flaw in our artwork. Or we have this idealized concept of what it's going to be. And then, what's what, then what it turns out to be is like quite different than what we idealized it to be. So then it becomes like not as much fun for us. So I guess that's maybe part of it. Maybe. But... 
this is just kind of me messing around and seeing I really kind of want to get like a circular pattern but I'm almost afraid to lay one down because I'm afraid what it'll look like I'm like scared like I want to do one right in the center there but that would be like non that would be like non um, archaic you know it wouldn't be I'm going for randomness here And if I do that, it's not exactly random. So why don't I do it on the arc here? And then there. And then pull it through. <laughs> there. Ugh. My gosh, I just almost whacked it again. Now I'm at the point now where there's quite a bit of color on there or mud, depending on how you feel about it. And I don't want to muddle it up. So, oh goodness, I just totally messed that up. Let's see, yeah, we gotta get some through here. And up there. And then I just wanna do little And see, this is going to be just the the really cool. Oh gosh, that was bad. Uh oh. See, I'm going to know that mistake for like the rest of my life. <laughs> Oh my gosh, there's a drop. <laughs> Holy cow. Oh my goodness, there's a drop of gold. What am I gonna do? Okay, I can, I can try and remove it with this. Oh good, I got it out. Well, I almost got it out. I'm close to getting it out. Okay. It's pretty good. I mean, it's different and it's not exactly what I was going for. I don't even know what I was going for. I just wanted to try the string thing. So many people have done like really great violets and I've never been able to pull off the violet thing. And that was something that I've admired the people have done on here is the violets. And I just, I don't know, I just can't do them. So I wanted to try and do something non-violet-y.
I don't know. You guys are gonna have to let me know what you think. My videos like run really long because I show like basically not the mixing and the pouring, but I'll show you what the piece of paper looked like when after I torch this. I wanna get all the air bubbles up so that I can get up. Well, oh, there's another gold blob. I think I can get that one out of there too. I hate the gold blob. We got two of them in here. Okay. So this is the other gold blob that's over here that I'm like hating. That I'm gonna be able to remove. I know I'm gonna be able to get that one off. Yep, there we go. And she's gone. Okay. I don't know, I think it's enough. I don't wanna overcrowd the painting. I might have fanned it the other way. Let me do one more before I I go here. Um, and then I'll show you what the paper looks like and then I'll, I'll let you go. Um, I'll go backwards. I'm gonna do this one backwards. So this is gonna be like an interesting, which I guess it doesn't matter if I do it backwards, if I go, if I do the rope backwards. <laughs> So, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, oh shoot, 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 I'm gonna pull it through. Ooh. Okay. Okay, that was the one that was backwards. Okay, those colors totally backwards. I'm gonna show you how I did the color though. I basically did on a sheet of paper like this blue, green, or teal, um, magenta, purple. Uh, ochre and then gold and that's how I did it and then I laid this string which is this string like right here I laid the string right in it okay they're just screaming at each other sorry about that and then I submerged it coated it and then I dragged it across the wet canvas so that's how I did it so anyways guys I hope you enjoyed this this was string painting, um, cause I can't do tulips. This is what you guys got. And I'll give you one final last look at the painting and I hope you really liked it. Have a great evening.